Hey guys, MD Prepper here on another pocket pistol review. Uh, tiny little mouse gun, deep carry concealment type weapon. This time it is on the Beretta 21A, I believe it's called the uh, Bobcat, is what it's referred to as. Um, got this used a year and a half ago or so at Trader's Gun Shop uh, here in Taylor, South Carolina for about $200. Uh, have to say that uh, this thing was pristine when I got it. Uh, absolutely not a mark on it. Um, almost no barrel wear at all. Um, perfect. Virtually brand new little pocket gun for 200 bucks. They tend to retail for, if memory serves, 300 plus for this little gun. Um, I've got a few theories as to why somebody uh, turned this thing in, which we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, this is in 22 long rifle, and again, like pocket pistols, you say, 22 long rifle for defensive purposes is worthless. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's not as good as the rest, but uh, find some criminal that wants to stand there and get shot with 22 rounds and just let you empty the mag on them. And that's a pretty dumb criminal. I think you got a pretty good chance on them. Uh, this thing comes with more of a matted finish, if you can see it. Uh, I'll do a review of a jet fire here after a while. It's just a blued finish. This thing's perfectly fine, perfectly reasonable. Um, very small, very easy to carry. It is not as small as the kel 380s, 32s, and all of that, or your Diamondbacks. Um, but again, it's a Beretta. This is a quality, quality firearm. Um, as far as pocket pistols go, you cannot find a better quality other than Beretta than maybe, maybe a SIG. Um, again, this is the good stuff. Um, being 22 long rifle, one of the problems with it, it doesn't fire as accurately um, or dependably as a centerfire cartridge. And so extraction can be a bit of a problem. Uh, this thing has no extractor claw or anything else on it. It is designed to fire only with premium ammo. Do not go out to the range with cheapo bulk ammo and expect this thing to fire flawlessly. Now that's good practice in my opinion because you can work on uh, failures to fire, failures to extract, that sort of stuff. Uh, I think it's good practice for that. Part of the reason I even bought this in 22. Um, never really intended to carry it, but uh, tend to practice a lot with this thing. Um, Again, no extractor, you need the good ammo. Uh, that's probably why this previous owner turned this thing in. They probably took it to the range, used cheap ammo, and realized the thing would not extract correctly and went, well, it's a piece of junk, I can't trust it, and traded it in for something else. They probably just didn't do their homework. Uh, use the good stuff if you're firing this bad boy. Uh, I tend to carry uh, mini mags in it. Uh, for a 22 defensive pistol, don't worry about hollow points. Uh, you're not shooting squirrels. It's not going to expand. Uh, sufficiently in a human target to be worth your time. Uh, you need penetration in a 22 for defensive carry, especially in something with this short of a barrel. So uh, I tend to carry a um, full metal jacket, uh, mini mags, or uh, velocitors, that sort of thing. Um, works real well. Uh, rapid fire, uh, you can fire this thing like a beast. Ultra fast, ultra small. Um, this gun, in my opinion, was really probably designed more for the female carrier. Um, who could not handle a uh, racking of the slide issue there. Uh, it's, it's too tough for them. This thing has a tip-up barrel. You have a small little lever there. Um, you put a full magazine in this. You do not have to chamber around. All you have to do, push the lever, barrel pops up. Isn't that kind of cute and cool? Um, you drop a round in here. You drop it down. You're good to go. Um, this thing is ready to fire. You don't have to chamber around with this thing. Um, Pretty good for training females on smaller type guns. Um, this one, unlike the Jetfire, which I'll do a review on later, um, can be fired single or double action. Um, here it is with the safety off. I'm not going to pull it all the way, but uh, basically you can uh, do a double action trigger pull with this. Or, with the uh, hammer back all the way, you can do a very light single action. Again, not going to dry fire 22. Um, lots of options for that. like that a lot. Uh, one good thing about this little pocket pistol, and I, in my opinion, is that uh, it does have a manual safety on it. A lot like your 1911s and some of your others, up is safe, down is fire. Uh, you say, why do you need a pocket pistol with a manual safety? That's just one more thing. Uh, you don't have to use it. Uh, you can keep it in double action, safety off, and uh, there you go. Now, I dry fired it. Um, let me do it again. Not bad. Um, it goes to single action after the uh, first double action round, and you'll, or again, you can keep it in single action mode uh, in condition one if you feel so comfortable. Uh, I probably wouldn't with this gun because it's going to not be a uh, 
hip carry gun, this is going to be a pocket gun. I don't know if I want this thing with a short trigger pull in my pocket and the chance of me accidentally dropping that uh, safety. Uh, again, good holster in, with it around. It's still probably not a problem, but hey, paranoid like that. Uh, the um, magazine release here, a little different than most of your firearms at all. Uh, most have it here or on the bottom if you're going for the European style. This one has it right back here. Um, you say, well, that's weird. Um, to release your mag. Well, it makes a lot of sense with a little pocket gun like this, where your hand's all up on the trigger. Um, if you can see that right there, with perfect grip, what's not pushing down, and where your fingers aren't, is that magazine release. So you're not going to accidentally release this if you don't want to. Um, magazine's quite nice. I believe it's eight rounds, I think, plus one. Um, like a lot of 22s, like your browning butt marks and all that, you don't have to just cram rounds into it. You've got this little lever here which you can pull down as you load rounds to ease things when you're loading uh, works real well uh, overall I love this little gun uh, I don't shoot it a lot um, one of the other reasons somebody might have turned this thing in is it's not on target it's not that accurate with the sights um, it shoots consistently and precisely but uh, it's in the wrong spot this thing shoots about four inches high and four inches to the left uh, give or take at about, oh, I don't know, six yards, maybe seven yards, something like that. That's something I don't like about this. Um, you can't adjust the sights. Uh, I cannot see any damage to the crown of the barrel, anything like that. I don't know if that's just normal for these guns or not, but uh, I really don't like the fact that uh, it doesn't shoot to point of aim. And yes, I am a, an accomplished shooter. I shoot a lot. And uh, this thing is just off. Uh, and I really don't think it's the sights and even if I could find a way to adjust them it just shoots high to the left um, now again up close and personal doesn't matter but if you're practicing with this thing you gotta get used to shooting down into the side here uh, just to get it on where you want to shoot uh, for a get off me gun you want to shoot where you want to uh, for a get off me gun you don't want to shoot for the chest with limited penetration for a 22 you probably want to go for headshots uh, pull it out put it against the side of the head and pull the trigger that sort of thing so uh, very different than your standard defensive caliber. So, again, don't know if that's why somebody turned this in, but it's a minor complaint. Uh, overall, I like it for practice and all of that. Um, good gun, extremely well made. Of course, you got to get yourself a good pocket holster. Uh, I don't know if this is an Uncle Mike's or what, but uh, fits in here real well. Uh, only thing I use for pocket pistols is little pocket holsters. This works great, covers up uh, any kind of imprinting when it's in your pocket. You reach in, comes out, you're good to go. Especially if you go in double action, all you have to do is point it and pull the trigger. Uh, point and click. Good little gun. Again, got it for 200 bucks. Uh, don't regret it. Just wish it was a little bit better with the accuracy of the sights. Uh, if I can ever find any little crimson trace grips for it, something like that, for ultra cheap, I'm not going to spend $150 on a $200 gun, but if I can find them cheap for that, I may get it because uh, that's probably a better choice for this gun. Uh, again, MD Prepper, review of the Beretta 22 Bobcat, uh, the 21A. Thanks, guys.